So previously in one of my videos, I, I showed that I got a quad as an additional project on top of this truck that I've been working on. Uh, the engine is in it. A lot more work still needs to be done. But that quad is now this quad. Same quad, just I rattle canned it red. This is my 1987 TRX 250X that one of the previous owners put a 350X engine in. And if I believe correctly, the 350X was only available in the ATC three-wheeler, which is pretty badass. But uh, obviously this is not what it used to look like. It used to look like this. I got it for a thousand bucks and it ran really good, shifted really good, but it needed some TLC, needed some tires. And now it looks like this. So obviously it's red now. I sanded the fenders, sprayed them red. I used Rust-Oleum um, Apple Red, I believe. And these stickers that I got off of eBay matched up perfectly, unintentionally, and I fucking love it. It actually looks really good. And since it's a 350X, I figured might as well throw the 350X on there. But uh, overall, the paint actually turned out really nice. I was very happy with it. And then I, you know, got my Honda stickers, I got GoPro banging for banging gears. And then the perfect place for this Seaboy sticker that I've had for a while. And uh, when, once I got this wheeler all painted up and I put this on here, I was happy. And then put the 350X on and I was even happier. <laughs> so overall, it's a really good quad. It runs really good. And um, then I broke it. <laughs> so we went up to the UP of Michigan to go riding. And it was the first time that we've ever been in the UP when it wasn't snow. So being able to ride out on the trails, the ATVs, was pretty awesome. And I took this, rode it for about 60 miles. I ended up running out of gas once because the, get, the tank is kind of small. But... I don't know, not that big of a deal. The unfortunate part was it burned through, in, so, in those 60 miles, it burned through a quart and a half of oil and it's a two quart system. So the engine is hurt. It was already burning oil a little bit to begin with. It's gotten far worse. So I need to check the valves, pistons, uh, piston. Piston rings, the cylinder, kind of just check it all over. Hopefully it's not too bad. I would love to be able to just throw a few bucks at it and call it a day. Really, all this thing's ever gotten so far since I've owned it is eBay parts. These nets were really awesome. I found these 87 TRX nets on eBay, picked those up. It needed a new master cylinder. So here's a Chinese master cylinder. It needed a new brake caliber. So here's a Chinese eBay brake caliper. And then also got this really nice heavy duty skid plate. This is a horrible picture, but you get the point. Cause um, it looked like at one point or another, the sprocket and the brake disc were hit by something. So might as well fix it. Um, this is also a really bad sign that this thing's been burning oil like hell. The exhaust pipe is just black just oily as hell but overall it's been really good all the brakes work nice now i got brand new tires on it these are quad boss tires front and rear that i got off of dennis kirk and uh, they worked out really nice they have really nice traction i was able to rip around and enjoy myself up until i found that i was almost out of oil so i parked it it still fires up kind of um i'll let you know that this thing is dead cold so the chances of it starting right away are slim but i don't know let's try it see what happens and uh like i said it burns a lot more oil than it did before so this is going to be smoky I also changed some of the wiring, so now I have a tether. 
So if I eat it, it doesn't run away from me, which I've seen people do. Oh. So yeah, it's really bad now, and it's blowing out of everywhere. Yeah, it's it's really bad. And I think it floods now too, so I gotta really make sure to turn the fuel off. But uh, yeah, it it's it smokes really bad now. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is some of the rewiring that I did. It used to have the control box, but that was just shot. Didn't work at all. So rewired it to have a tether in case I fall off. Whoever built this with the 350X engine in it, put the on off switch right in here, which you can't see, but it was just a little toggle switch. You had to reach down to hit the toggle switch to shut it off. Can't say I was a huge fan of that. So I switched it to the tether. It's really nice. Don't have to worry about it too much. Got uh, new grips on it, new clutch lever, and this thing never had lights when I got it. So I put this headlight on, which still needs to be wired up, but that's just gonna be this little switch off to the side. That'll be nice once I get that wired up. It also has no tail lights, but I decided to put this reflective tape on there. So if somebody does come up behind me, they can see me. And then eventually, I'll get tail light, maybe. <laughs> but uh, I'm really happy with the way this thing turned out. It definitely needs some TLC. This is actually the original reason that I wanted to get a quad. Turf Wars. Um, I think I mentioned this in the other video, possibly. But Turf Wars is not going to have sleds next year. It's supposed to be this year, but they didn't have it. Can't canceled, whatever. But next year, I'm not gonna have sleds. So I have a quad to race. Granted, it needs to be fixed, but nonetheless, it can race it. So that would be a lot of fun. I don't think it's gonna win up, up against um, Jake Sherbrooke's Banshee, but I don't know. I enjoy a good race. I loved um, last year's Tour Fours. That was a lot of fun racing my sled. But this will be fun as well. Once I get it all squared away, hopefully the top end's not too bad and I can get you know, it to stop burning oil, keep oil in it, and uh, do whatever I can to keep it running. As of right now, it's cold. I got layers on. <laughs> it's gonna be winter here soon. Um, it's also unfortunate because I'm still working on this while it's cold. It's about 30 degrees in here, but uh, that's why I have these layers on. But hopefully I can get this thing squared away. I would love to take it home and actually ride it across the lake during the winter when I can't ride my sled. Because there's plenty of times when there's not enough snow to ride. You can just take this across the lake. Why the hell not? So that'll be pretty fun. But yeah, this is a cool little unit for sure. It's also nice that the 350X engine has got this oil cooler. Granted, that's not where it's originally intended to be, nor mounted, because it's just wire mounted in place. But I mean, it's, it's not going nowhere, that's for sure. But besides that, works pretty good. Shifts nice, even when it was low on oil, clutch is really nice. Engagement's good, all the gears work. And it, uh, it hooks and cooks. So hopefully I can get it squared away and have more fun with it. But then, it's gonna snow, and maybe I'll take my sled out, so that should be fun. Get out, ride some more. Hopefully we can. Hopefully I can do more with this. Maybe make some more videos with it. And we will see where it goes from there. I got nothing else because I just pieced this thing together. And this video is pieced together. So here you go. Thanks for watching.